Hello again, this is Radio Entrepreneurs. My name is Jeffrey Davis. I'm the host of the show, and uh, we are always talking entrepreneurship. And our next guest is Robert Munnelly of uh, the law firm of Davis, Mom, and D'Augustine. And today we're going to talk about information security. Yes, we are. Uh, why is information security so important? I'm being, that's a rhetorical question <laughs> to some degree. Well, from a business standpoint, information security, broadly speaking, is that anything that's important that the business has should be protected somehow, whether, you know, in terms of um, keeping stuff safe at the office with locked cabinets or whatever, electronically through electronic protections, front door security, making sure people can't wander through the office. Um, so, and generally, that's important. And we're not overdoing it in today's world, you know. I grew up in a world of unlocked doors. <laughs> it's, it really is that important today? I think it is that important today. I mean, the other part of it is that the, um, because of how much information is online, there's been a government regulatory response. So starting with the feds, who started putting legal requirements onto the banks and finance companies, and later on into the credit industry, and then it's moved into broader protections where government is stepping in to say you need to have certain information is of certain types. Uh, it needs to legal obligations kick in and the people who hold that information have to protect it. So that's kind of where it is. I think uh, we are in a land where uh, if you don't watch out, stuff gets accessed or lost and uh, it can hurt people. So that's where these, uh, this becomes important. Is it any different for a Massachusetts company versus any other company? I know you've written about Massachusetts. Yeah, Massachusetts is almost unique because the, um, I mean, again, if you're a bank, you're subject to certain types of federal law. If you're a healthcare company, you're subject to certain types of federal law. But for most other information, uh, it's regulated at the state level. And most states are very lackadaisical about um, information security. Massachusetts, as, um, as, it, as is its tendency, um, a few years ago got very tough. It ended up um, creating a regime of information security requirements that's by far the toughest in the country. And uh, so everyone in every business in Massachusetts had to deal with these rules over the past few years. And we're now five years in and the regime is up, running, active, and puts a lot of obligations on any business in Massachusetts. Wow. What types of information should employers be looking at? I, I assume they need to prioritize also because you can't just protect everything right away. So why don't we get a hot list? <laughs> well, one hot list is, the, is, um, is what they call personal information. And personal information is a person's name or perhaps their first initial of their name uh, plus a confidential number. But personal information is, is, a, is a name plus a confidential number. So a social security number, driver's license, credit card, debit card, th that type of information. So if you have that, if you're a business who holds um, name plus confidential number, uh, legal protections kick in and that's really important. Then there's the other categories. You have personal health information that is very important if you're a healthcare provider or you serve healthcare providers. There's the banking type things. There's the um, like account information and credit information. You know, these are all subject to different regulatory regimes and the holders have to deal with them. Uh, but the big one that affects most businesses is the personal information issue. Because again, in Massachusetts, if you hold personal information, then all these obligations kick in. And I mean, it applies to everybody. There's no exceptions for small businesses. It's a these rules kick in and they're very rigorous. Rob, if somebody wants to know more about information security, and I do think it's important, uh, how would they contact you at Davis Mom? Um, I, I can be connected to the main number at Davis Mom, um, which is should be available on your online. But yeah, it's just it's the just through the main number there will work fine. Great. Do you want to give your email before you go, just in case? Uh, sure. It's R Munnelly with no underlining, so it's R M U N N E L L Y at Davis Mom, so that's Davis, then M-A-L-M, dot com.